so I'm heading out to pick up a car and I think it's a pretty cool one. I need another car because I ran out of room in the Quonset and so I want to test Molly's patience and see see what will happen you know because she said no no cars that won't fit in the Quonset and so with my Chevy not running and the, my car hauler and stuff in there I don't have enough room I can make room but right now I don't have room so shouldn't be getting this car plus I just got the Corvair and my 99 Audi uh, got in an accident so that's got to be fixed that's taking up another space so got too many cars and I figured the best cure for that was to get another car. I know it's weird logic, but it works. It actually does work. And so I'm out here on dirt roads, kind of southeast of Hudson and Keensburg. And my goal is to try to get this car running today, and then I'll come back out and get dropped off, and I'm gonna try to drive the car to the farm, which, I won't be able to get it into the barn because there's too much snow on the driveway, so I'll have to uh, have to use one of the jeeps to pull it into the into the yard. But it'd be really fun to try to get this car running and, and drive it out because I don't have any way to tow it right now. So the best option is to drive it. I kind of in the same boat with the Corvair. I want to try to get it running and drive it out as well. So this will be fun. And I'm getting really close to where this car is. I haven't bought it yet, but I I gave the guy a couple hundred bucks to hold it for me. And today is a good day. It's been very cold. Today is going to be in the low to mid 40s with the Colorado sun. Oh, I see it. Uh, it should be a nice day to do this. And so, um, wish me luck. Uh, as soon as I park the truck here in a second, I'll do a quick tour of the car and then we get started on trying to get it started and check the brakes and all that and hopefully I can drive it around today and then I'll park it, drive home and then maybe this weekend because it's a three day weekend, Molly and I can come out and I can attempt to drive it down Highway 52 East all the way out to the farm. We'll see how it goes. Thanks, thanks guys for being here and Hope you enjoy this. So this is her. It is a 61 Skylark made by Buick. And I just fell in love with it. And it's just in amazing condition in my opinion. So it'll definitely be the nicest car I've ever bought, used car at least. the last time this thing ran. Yeah, I almost brought a bunch of big ones and I decided not to. Just one inch. Oh, is it? Yep, that's 15 16. <laughs> so that's a beautiful thing. So I think next I will just kind of locks itself up right there. That must be the compression. So I'm gonna pull the spark plugs out and put some oil in the cylinders. Well, I think I'll take the spark plugs out and squirt some oil in them. And then, uh, 
Okay. This car is just in fantastic condition. I'm just really excited about it. I guess that's for the heater. So we gotta make sure. Well, you got that and that. I don't know what's going on with that thing. I hate to start this thing up and have water start pumping out of there. But yeah, so I'm gonna just take some of these spark plugs out and put some, squirt some oil in there. So I'm not sure why, but there's one, two, three wires are cut for some reason. So we gotta have to get, I'm gonna have to go get some of these wires, spark plug wires. So he says the rabbits got after these. That's crazy, I've never seen that before. Looks like they might've tried to get on this one too. That one's probably gonna arc if it does light up. So we got one, two, three. The other side looks fine. He's gonna see if he has some spare wires just to get us started and then I'll get a I'll get a box. Could re-terminate them at the boot probably, but I don't need to be rebuilding wires right now, I guess. But that I'll put that on my list of uh, things to bring next time is some spare. You know, it wouldn't be bad just to have a few spare wires with you, right? I used to carry them with my old car, so. Well, I'll still squirt some oil on the cylinders at least. We'll have that going. Spark plugs look really good. A little black. Why is that? A little bit of, a little burnt. Not too bad. If I'm getting wires, I might as well put plugs in too. This can doesn't work too well sideways. Three more plugs and we can throw some gas in her. So you bought the car like 2008, huh? Yeah. And you say it was a rabbi's car. Yeah. He had two of them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He was a collector of Buicks. He didn't just have a, it wasn't an arbitrary thing and he thought, well, I better have two in case one breaks down. We got parts for it. Yep. Lots of this little yeah. mechanic shop. Well, I'm glad you got it because I probably wouldn't have gotten it if it didn't go through you somehow. However that works. We left it sit there. Yep, yeah, that got it. Go. Six down, two to go. I feel like they thought about it when they built this these heads about getting the spark plugs out because it has been one of the easier cars to get spark plugs out of so far. And I already got the hardest one, which is usually the passenger side to the rear. That's always the hardest one for me to get, and it wasn't bad. He brought me a nice little hose extension, which is going to make my life way easier. He must, uh, must know me better than I think he does. Oh, that works beautifully. Trying to remember stuff I forgot. I usually have a little, uh, like one gallon gas tank that I'll run, run off of for a little bit. Yeah. And bring that, and then I usually bring a little electric fuel pump, which I'm trying to set myself up for success, you know. That hose didn't work. It worked great. I don't know where I went. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it worked great. That's way too much. There is no fuel line running to it. I put oil in all the cylinders. I got all the wires hooked back up. I don't think I mixed up the firing order at all or the timing. We're trying to find a fuel line now for this. Here's the fuel line. I guess it has a electric pump in the tank. You gotta get from there to here. So that's what we're working on. And I'm gonna try to get a battery in it. He's telling me if I try to close the hood with this battery sitting so high it's going to hit the hood, so i got to be careful. So I will go get a, the right, try to find a battery that fits in here better. Okay, let me get this guy 
bolt it up. I think she's going to turn over, but we won't be able to get any fuel and bring any kind of starting fluid or brake, you know, have any brake clean or anything. I've definitely done better in the past, and I've definitely done worse. Just do the old vice grips on there just to test it out, I guess. Is this battery going to work? It's the cheapest battery I could find, and it doesn't seem like it likes to hold a charge. <sighs> I wonder why I'm not using a ratchet. It's a really good question. Because I'm so lazy, I actually just used the first 7 sixteenths I found, and that's, that's what I found. I mean, <laughs> it should turn over. anything smoking or melting. I'll try to see if it spins over on the starter. You've got the key. <laughs> Pull that bumper out if it's not in your way. Oh, okay. That's the fuel pump. Ten points two. Oh. Oh, my bad. I just charged it last night. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's what I get for buying the cheapest battery, I guess. This is a brand new battery, actually, but really, I don't use it. Everything seems to be okay, but my battery is only at 10 volts. I guess it, it's, uh, it's not holding the charge for some reason. So he's going to come over and give us a jump start. So it didn't turn over for us because I didn't have it, I didn't put it back in park. So, I mean, how beautiful is this car, though? All right. Hopefully he's got jumper cables. I don't think I have jumper cables. Door's a little bit messed up. That's really the only thing. A little rust on those front fenders. Oh, here's a little ding. That makes it a beautiful car, though. Door panels are nice. Everything's nice. I'm really hoping I can get this thing running and I can drive it to Nebraska. This is cool. I guess it's just a reflector. I wonder if it's a light. I think it's just a reflector. He has a mirror for here. What's up, little guy? Hey. Thanks for helping us out. Actually got some brake fluid in it. Pop that off.
Okay, well, she's turning over. So he's got this straight fuel line and this pretty cool tube bender. And we're going to try to get that in there. What I'll do is pull that guy off. Hopefully there's a needle and seat in here. There's not. I guess it doesn't need it. Do you have a fire extinguisher? <laughs> that was the other thing. Sensor looks kind of shiny. Rotor looks brand new. Let's turn the ignition on. Oh, yeah. Spark to there. You know, maybe I'll leave that electric fuel pump in there. I won't forget to turn the ignition off. And yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've done that so many times, and you burn up your points and your coil and. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good idea. Yep. Okay, yep. Yeah, I should have brought some, uh, Ether. Yeah, I probably had some. You're the best person to buy a car from. <laughs>